How's it going everyone? I'm Garrett from Discount Meats. I'm here with Norm Forty today. We are going to show you how to cook some short ribs. Uh, first thing you want to do is get yourself six pounds of short ribs from your local butcher store. Uh, we sell them in a, uh, a rack like this. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come down the center of each one or down the side of each rib and just separate them out. They call this English style, I believe. Once you've got your uh, short ribs all cut and separated so each individual rib is on its own, we like to season ours with a little Alpine Touch Prairie Fire. Uh, just gives it a little added kick for those cold fall days. When you're out there on the trail or by the lake or whatever you're doing, be here to warm you up. You want to mince up your garlic cloves and then you want to cut some carrots. And when you cut the carrots, you don't want them to be too small. Just kind of like large chunks in there. And this is the kind of meal that you can have all prepped out at home and get it ready for the campsite. Onion, you kind of just want big slices as well. Same with the carrots. We'll just slice the whole thing and then we'll just cut the slices in half here. Next, you want to grab your uh, Dutch oven. We got our classic Dutch oven here from Camp Chef. Um, you can find these at any of your North 40 locations. So one of the benefits to using cast iron versus just uh, your regular uh, kitchen pan is cast iron transfers heat way better than your standard pot or pan would. Um, it makes it so it cooks, everything cooks more evenly. Even if you got hot spots on your pan, it shouldn't be a hot spot on the inside. Another benefit about a cast iron pan, especially this uh, classic Dutch oven from Camp Chef, it comes pre-seasoned. The more you use it, the more seasoning it'll get. Um, and what seasoning is, it just makes it so nothing will stick to your cast iron. Um, a brand new cast iron pan or pot tends to stick until you get a nice coat of oil baked on there. But these ones are nice because they do come pre-seasoned. Thank you North 40 for that. All right, now that you have everything prepped out, you wanna go ahead and take your short ribs and sear them on each side. Just get them nice and brown and crispy. Throw your three tablespoons of oil in the pan, get it hot, and should be browned up in just a few minutes on each side. Just make sure you're rotating them. Um, once they're nice and brown, pull them off of there. Take all your, um, your garlic, your onion, and your carrots and throw them into that same pan. And just brown the edges of all those too. Just get them nice and, nice and browned up. You wanna add your 16 ounces of tomato sauce, your one cup of beef broth, and then your fourth cup of brown sugar. You just wanna slowly stir everything together, get it nice and mixed. And then, once that's done, throw your short ribs back in. The lid goes back on, and it simmers for three to four hours. Once it's been about uh, three to four hours, go ahead and check on them. Uh, you'll know they're done when you can pick them up by the bone, and the, only the bone comes with. The meat will stay right there in the pan. Thank you very much, everyone. If you have any more questions, you can call us down here at Discount Meats, or you can go to north40.com or visit any one of their locations. If you like this recipe or have any recipes that you'd like to see, uh, just go ahead and leave them down in the comments.